Alright, uh, hello. This is Charlie. And we're just kind of doing this to show a variety of, like, ways to make smoothies because she makes hers one way and then I make mine a different way. So I like mine with a little bit more greens and less sweet and a little bit thinner so that I can drink it while I'm teaching. Well, while the kids are coming in because, you know, teaching and eating just don't work. So, um, I like greens, a lot of greens, so I have kale greens, and I put those in first so that I can make sure that the majority of mine is green stuff. Um, we did the Nutribullet health quiz to find out, like, what you should have in yours, and mine was primarily you need to have more greens than anything else. Um, so then I'm just going to add some other things. Everything. Um, a lot of... Okay, we're going to pause because i got to change batteries. Okay, so as you can see, I've got, you know, over half my cup filled with greens. And I prefer to use kale in the morning because my lunch every afternoon has spinach in it. So I put about a tablespoon and a half of chia seeds, um, which help keep you full. And then um, a tablespoon and a half of tummy fiber to help keep you regular. Poopy powder! Which is like the most important part because when you're not eating a lot of carbs or processed food, you can have issues with that. And then I use flax seed. About a tablespoon and a half. And then I put in the protein powder. gives it that chocolate flavor, which really actually does a good job of covering up the kale, which I like kale, just a little awkward sometimes. And then I get out the fruits, and I prefer like a more tropical blend of fruits. So I do pineapple and uh, raspberries, raspberries. And then I will do oranges and blueberries. And like my personal trainer says that I'm really only supposed to have like four servings of fruit a day. So um, I just add a little bit of each one. I prefer pineapple more than any of them because, well, pineapple's better. But berries are actually better for weight loss. Put some oranges in there. And I'm out of coconut water, um, and I forgot to pick some up at the store, but normally because juice, even though we use like real juice, it's so sugary. I normally like split it up half coconut water, half juice, and this morning that's not what's going to happen. This morning I'm just going to use um, half juice, half regular water. So, Brianna, can you get me a small glass of water from the refrigerator? Yeah, you can use all water. Um, I can use all water, however, I like the taste of juice. Just said I threw that out there. Yes. So, um, this is what mine looks like before I add the juice or the water. And as you can tell, it's not quite full. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more greens on the top after I'm done. So I pour in the juice, let it work its way down. That's enough juice for me. It's got to work its way down through the 
powders and the kale and all of that stuff. It's gonna get stuck on the side. Uh huh. That's gonna get stuck on the side. And I don't use yogurt either. Not as much. It depends on like where I'm at in my day. And how well I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> it's all about the pooping in this in this house. But no, really it's is. not. Don't go over your fill line. I'm not. I'm watching it. And then the important thing to note is that if you add more to it after you've added the water, the water level will go up. So, because you push it down. So, it's always good to just stay a little bit under it before you add stuff. Um, since mine's not completely full, but I don't want to add more fruit, I'm just going to add another little bit of kale. Because it's filling and yummy and delicious. And then I'm going to sprinkle it on. And I'm going to shake. Which in and of itself is a good workout. And you see my water level is good. There's the line. So it's like right at it. And I'm going to start with it. almost got all four on that lid. But I prefer mine more drinkable. So mine is a little bit more runny, I guess you could say, than hers because she likes hers as more of like a really smoothie. big smoothie and I like mine as more of a drink because most of the time I'm not able to just sit there and drink it slowly. So anyways, that's what mine looks like. It's more green than anything. Okay. Hers really does look like baby poop. But it does not taste like it, and that's the important thing. <laughs> See? Nice and green and green. But, the like, even though there's all that green stuff in it, I mean, that's like my daily percentage of greens. And I don't even taste it. I mean, and I haven't even gotten the lunch in the, uh, like spinach that I have for lunch. Give it a taste. Mm. Really is so good. Okay, now to let everybody know that it's kid approved. Zachary, mm -hmm. come taste. That's like the best smoothie I've ever tasted. I make good smoothies. You do. Brianna, you want to try? There's no yogurt in it. There's no yogurt in it. Not bad. There you go. Say bye. Bye.